Good morning, everybody. Tuesday morning. I'm all dressed up. About to get loaded here. It's early. We're going to get our uh, freight on the trailer, putting some lumber on the trailer, and then uh, tarping it. It's fancy lumber. It's very special lumber. It's going down to Minnesota from here, but six hours south. It's not too long. Since I'm here so early, my hopes are that I'll be unloaded today. And then I can point my nose towards a reload. That will be determined later. But thanks for joining me. Please make sure you're subscribed down below. We make new videos all the time of our life on the road. And we've been making them for almost 13 years here on the internet. So you have lots to catch up on if you're new. Go to my channel, click my name below. Go to my channel, go to my playlists, and they're all organized there for you. Lots to watch. So sit back and enjoy. We'll uh, get this day started and we'll get on the road. All right, so there we go. Got my straps here holding my tarp back and stopping it from flapping. I put my new corners on each of the corners to protect my tarp. Tarps are so dirty already since I bought them. Ah, that's the way it goes though. Nothing stays clean. I really like these new little corners. I'll show them to you. I got them from Mighty Products, same place I got these tarps from. Ordered them online on their website. They're these guys. You just put it like right on the corner, the lumber, and it saves your tarp from getting ripped. It's super cheap too. Good price. But anyways, it's time for me to go.
nice and green now in Brainerd. Awesome. And we're getting unloaded today. Door is already open and waiting. Nice. unloaded uh, we'll probably go for our walk but I do need to start heading back towards Kenora tonight let's get those tarps off get the straps off get the freight off and go get another one well we got the truck all cleaned up unloaded and my next load will be in Kenora tomorrow I can load it at any time I'll be delivering that the following day right here again first thing in the morning so we've got some time and so we're gonna make use of that and get our walk in well I'll make my way through town here I've never actually explored Brainerd everything is so green already the trees at home are pretty, pretty close. Oh, except for these, oh, it's budding. This is an oak tree, I guess. It's always the last to get its leaves and the first to lose them. They grow very slowly. So a tree like this is probably, well, they're probably 75 years old. We have lots of oaks around my place too. Yeah, the trees at home are about halfway there, about halfway up. But here, man, look at this already. This feels so good, especially after a long winter. Even though this winter wasn't that bad, it was a pretty mild winter. I was pretty okay with that. There's actually a big lake right over here, and I never knew that. Probably should have, because I'm in Brainerd, what, like three to four times a week? <laughs> I'm always here. It's almost my second home. But, uh, I had no idea. So I'm at the bottom of the hill over here and around this corner here leads you into a park. It's called Lum Park. L-U-M Park. It looks like there's public access to the water there. And uh, from what I could see from a distance, it looks like there's a pier or something. Let me go check it out. That was the street I was walking down right over there. So that's the backside of all the houses that I was walking past. Imagine having your backyard out onto the lake like that. Does it get any more Minnesota than this? Amazing. This whole time, a couple of years now, coming down to Brainerd multiple times a week. I had no idea. You see the things you discover when you get out and go for a walk? I probably would have never known this was here. Oh, oh, there must be a nest nearby. That bird is hovering around. <laughs> well, let's keep walking. I've only got, uh, let's see, uh, about 
1.28 miles behind me, so I'm not even half done yet. I gotta keep moving. Just about at two miles here on the main drag coming into town. Casey's is down there now for reference, and the park is that way. Hence why we're going this way. Makes sense. Thought of that after I said it. Trying to give you guys an idea of where I am in town. <laughs> so this is the road I come in on from Kenora. Come in here, now the traffic lights up there. That's where I turn right or left, depending on, there's a couple of different places I bring stuff to in Brainerd. A couple of different receivers. But uh, yeah, it's nice exploring this nice little residential side on the east side of town. I think there's a lot more to explore west of here. But uh, I think the Mississippi River runs through here too, doesn't it? Huh, maybe, maybe next time. And then we're gonna get to Kenora tomorrow to load midday sometime. And then we'll have the rest of the day to get back down here. Tonight we'll get close to close to Kenora. So we'll have the time on the on the logs to get down here. At a reasonable time. We'll probably get down here honestly around this time. Probably around supper, like six o'clock. And since it's you know May, the sun stays up so long now that we'll have plenty of daylight hours to go for our walk on the way down. So we can either stop in Fort Francis on the way down, do our walk there, or get down here, do our walk here in the evening. Depends on how hot the day is. If it's a really hot day, I'll walk later on in the evening when it's cooled off a bit, but if it's kind of a cooler day. I like to get it over with midday so it's not too cold when I'm walking later. All of these factors you gotta factor into your daily walks. It's, it's not easy to create habits, but once it's a habit, it just sort of falls into your daily trip planning. You just sort of think ahead of where you can stop and quickly get the walk in. Work it into your time. Doesn't work every day. That's why I give myself two days a week grace. Because sometimes you're just in such a big rush, you just gotta go. But most days, if you, tr if you plan your day right, you get up on time, you don't sleep in. Speaking of myself there, I, I used to sleep in like crazy. Once, since we've had our kid, I've been an early riser, or earlier riser. But as long as you get going at a decent time, you get a lot done in the day. And here we are at the Casey's. Just down the street from that, that lake that I never knew was there. Right behind the trees right over there. So close. I'm gonna grab some fuel and we'll be on the way. Okay. We are filled up. We have pretty good fuel economy. 6.2 miles per gallon US. Not too shabby. So we're going to go up through Rainy River, Ontario because once again, like you know, there's no toll there. And there is a toll for me from International Falls right. into uh, Fort Francis. We are rolling into Baudette, Minnesota, right at the Canadian border across from Rainy River, Ontario. I'm gonna stay in Minnesota tonight, I'm tired. But another two hours to go tomorrow. Won't get me there any sooner if I go any further tonight. So there is a Senex truck stop on the other side of town. I've never stayed there before yet, but we're gonna go check it out, see if there's some parking there for us. And call it a night here. Go the rest of the way in the morning. A lot of deer out at night too. I've seen like five or six of them right on the shoulder of the road tonight. So I think that's a sign it's time to call it a night and pack it in before I hit one. That's usually my turn off right there. That's the turn off to go to Canada. Stay in America one more night. Hope that there's actually parking there. I think I've been there before. I went there because I missed that turn once 
and I had it on the vlog, it wasn't too long ago, and we went to this truck stop and turned around on the other side of town. That's how I knew there was a truck stop there. So I looked it up on Trucker Path, and sure enough, it looks like he, people on the reviews say you can fit 10 to 12 trucks in there. Let's see what happens. It's just up here. I think it's that blue light right in front of us. Right, here it is, I think. Take the next left, then your destination will be on the left. Whoa, calm down there, Google. That looks pretty full back there, actually. Your destination is on the left. Actually, it's right in front of me. the guys parked in the back there they took up a, a couple of guys took up two spots otherwise I could have fit in there but I figured it out because I came around to the front here and I noticed there's people parked all along the side here this is like a service road that goes all the way up there then connects back with this road up here and there's a whole bunch of people parked along here so I'm parked along here too. Right at the truck stop. And they got a McDonald's in here. Well, oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> Hopefully in the morning I can I can stick to just a coffee. Actually, well, McDonald's only serves breakfast till what? 10:30, 11 o'clock. I learned that recently. I'm pretty safe with breakfast, I think. Well, here we sit. Got an empty trailer behind us. Got my tarps up on the front over there. Got a train saying good night. It's probably going over the border to Canada too. We'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for hanging out today, everybody. Please go down below, make sure you're subscribed. Leave me a comment. If you like the video, also hit that thumbs up button. Helps me out a lot. I'll see you tomorrow.